Hello everyone and welcome to One More Pen. Today we are looking at Dollar, which is a company based in Asia, I think Pakistan, that um, produces fountain pens, uh, mainly these plasticky kind of pens, um, as well as various other stationary products. Uh, my main interest today is really the inks. Um, I found these pens a while ago. They're not, I don't know how available they are throughout the world. I mean, I found them in Kenya when I was traveling there. I've never seen these pens in South Africa where I'm based. Um, I don't think the brand is known here at all. Um, and then recently a friend of mine, Daryl, was traveling in Kenya and he found some of the ink, dollar ink. Um, let me just show you. We have a black ink and we have a blue ink. And um, what was interesting for me is the blue ink is actually called washable blue which reminds me of Parker Quink Washable Blue, of course. So that's interesting. Um, so if you've heard of this brand before, let me know about that. Uh, another interesting thing about these, um, we'll have a closer look, but um, these the uh, bottles that the ink come in, it's a plastic bottle, but it's described as unbreakable. Now that sounds like a challenge to me. So. But anyway, we'll have a closer look at the inks. I'm going to do writing samples with my uh, dip pen. And then I think what I'll do is I'll ink up one of the dollar pens that I have and just see how they perform. These are these are inks that I've never seen before, never used them before. And so we take a closer look at them. Well, all right, let's have a closer look at the pens. Um, these ones... Uh, now... I must say these pens I found uh, they are less than a dollar actually I think I paid for them and um, we won't do too much but just just a quick look it's it's very plastic very light um, clip is very functional uh, very basic though um, snap cap very tight and you have a you have a basic nib there uh, what does it say on there? Let's see. It just says Iridium point actually says Iridium point. Okay Well, it's not it's not a bad. It's got the a dollar Logo or insignia on the nib, which is a nice touch many pins don't even do that and uh, These actually come with a converter that is unfortunately bolt in. The, the problem with these things are that they are glued in and this is unfortunately where you have a problem um, very often is that they, they tend to leak. I've had quite a few of them and these pens can actually write quite nicely. They, you know, for what, for what you pay for them at the price point, that's, it's pretty decent. They're all basically uh, fine nibs. On the clip it says dollar sp10 sp10 so that is the the brand or the variant for this pen same as the other one just the red looks nice and same thing you have actually very nice that you have a converter bolt in I think that's that's not bad it's actually pretty nice Except that, like I said, they tend to, to leak. They don't last very well. This one, I think I've done a, a short of this one before. It's called the Glam. Pretty nice, actually. Plastic clip. So, not very tight, but the pen is so light that it's, you know, again, for what you pay, it's fine. The nib. This one. As you can see, I've used this pen before might still have ink in it no no ink in it but uh same thing converter is there yeah it's very plastic very light you can feel that oh i've got some ink on my fingers but anyway um very lightweight uh, construction but it's it works uh for i think i paid like 50 cents us for it um so that's that's not bad then i have this one that's like a demonstrator model that looks a little bit more uh i wouldn't call it pr premium but certainly 
certainly slightly better than the others. I can't remember what the price difference was on between this one and the others, but I suppose this might have been slightly more expensive. We can have a closer look at the clip and on the clip it just says dollar. The finial at the top, uh, dollar insignia there, nothing at the at the bottom of the barrel. Unscrews though to give you access to the um, converter or plunger inside. So this is actually pretty nice for a cheap pen to have this bolt in. I think it's pretty impressive. Um, once again, how well these last because they are really plastic. I don't know, but again, for the price, it's not bad. Very short section, but quite comfortable to hold. Nothing wrong there. And the nib, this would be a fine nib. And it says Iridium Point, and it's got the dollar insignia there. Very basic, but very functional. I think what I really like about these pens is that um, this company is making fountain pens um, available to every person at such a such a good price point that um, you know it's because fountain pens tend to be quite expensive and it's a sort of an exclusive luxury item and I like that they are making fountain pens just so accessible to everyone out there that's really brilliant the inks we can have a closer look so this is the the blue ink and you see there it says washable and so I wonder um, how this would compare to the Parker Quink washable blue and leak proof unbreakable plastic bottle so is that a challenge um, I don't think it's a challenge that we will put to the test today but anyway so this is the blue ink it's a 30 ml bottle um, let me open the black ink as well and in the black we have a 60 ml bottle so small one and a big one plastic bottles yes that's that's it and perhaps we can take a closer look if we open this up and it has a now the interesting thing wow and I got some ink there so that's not clever but I'll just clean it up it's all part of the game so I don't know how I managed to do this but anyway something I notice immediately about the ink it has a very distinctive um, smell to it and I said to, to my friend it, it to me it smells like school it's it, something about this ink reminds me uh, of school and I don't know why but anyway that is that is the one thing that's immediately obvious to me Okay, so the smell that I was talking about, the distinctive smell of the ink, I figured it out. Um, I have it on my fingers and I was, I was smelling it. And it reminds me of the smell of ink that you put on these um, pads that you use for rubber stamps. Um, that ink, that purple ink, you all know what I'm talking about. That smell, that is, that is what these inks smell like. It's just incredible how your senses can take you back so far in time to something and I, I distinctly remember that now. Now I know where it comes from. It's, it's well constructed, I can tell you that. Although I can, it, you can feel that this is, this is fairly cheap in terms of the plastic, I can also tell you that it's well constructed. This is not a plastic that's going to just easily crack or break. And with a black bottle what we have is the um, the way the neck of the bottle is made it's very nice so that if you if you fold your pen with a converter um, you could wipe off the excess on the edge there and I think that's quite a that's a clever uh, little thing 
and for how cheap these things were. And I, th I think I asked him what he paid and I think he said like um, something like 200 shillings, Kenyan shillings per bottle. Now I'm not sure if that's for the larger or the smaller bottle but that's that would be fairly cheap. You can do the conversion to USD if you want. For, uh, for South Africans that would convert to about 30 Rand which is for a bottle of ink quite cheap actually. So let's see what these inks do. I'm going to be using these uh, these cards. Well, I, I've been using them uh, to swatch some of my colors. I actually have Parker Queen washable blue here and some other blues. So this is an endless um, creative block. Very nice paper. I use the endless uh, A5 journals to do most of my writing. So we'll use this and we'll also use this Weringal um, sort of color swatch uh, card to do this. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with this one. It's only two colors, so I'm using my Rohrer and Klingner glass dip pen. So this would be dollar also washable blue and it seems to be actually a very nice dark blue let's do a color swatch with a cotton my dear almost a, a purple um, shade to it and just a little bit more to see what that color is going to do all right it's actually I think quite a dark blue for a for washable blue but uh, Let's do it on the endless paper as well. Let me clean off my pin so that it's ready for for the black and let's do a swatch here. All right and I think we'll let this one sit to dry for a second while we repeat the process on the wearing no I've done this before so actually let me put the blue ink away because it seems to want to get onto my fingers and let's try the black ink and so the black ink it just it just says what does it say? Dollar ink black. Right, so it's just dollar ink black. Start with a wearing goal, so this would just be dollar. don't really need to do that because I'm going to use it again in a second but it doesn't matter and 
it's another pause. Alright. So we'll put the wearing goal cord to the side to dry and repeat the process on the endless paper. side and we'll do a quick swatch here then the ink goes on very smooth okay I think that will give us a good range so so far I, I mean the, there's nothing really distinctive about the ink that I can say it's it's like any other ink the blue looks nice the black looks nice um, I can already say on the um, on the endless paper I can definitely see some sheen and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's definitely sheen developing there which is nice I like the it's a nice dark blue as well on the wearing gold paper uh, comparing it now to the Parker washable blue I, th I think this is a little bit darker and on this paper as well I can definitely see some sheen developing very similar to the Parker Quink but this is a, a I think a, a darker blue almost a brighter blue if I compare it over here and the um, just comparing these two that I've done the Parker Quink before again you can see it's definitely a darker brighter blue um, definitely some sheen developing there very nice actually the black is a nice dark black um, I think it has some shades of brown um, it seems like I I can see a slight sheen developing there and on the endless paper yes definitely there's a, there's a very slight very slight sheen um, but not too much so this is my uh, first time that I've encountered the dollar ink um, I would be very interested to know if you have this available where you are and sort of what would be the price point that you get it at because I think these things vary greatly depending on where you are but these appear to be quite lovely inks um, I did say that I was going to ink up one of the pens and I will do that all right, it's time for a writing sample with the dollar pen. This is actually the 717i model. So screw cap, uh, plastic on plastic threads, but mm, for the price point, I don't see how that would be a problem. The rotation, uh, less, than, less than one full rotation. So it's very quick to uncap. That's pretty nice. All right, let's see how this pen writes. So this is the dollar seven one seven i i'm not sure whether this is a medium or a fine nib it doesn't say but actually the way that it writes i'm pretty sure that this must be a medium the ink is simply dollar black Witness. Yeah, it's actually it's actually quite wet. I can feel on the on the paper when I write. It's very smooth. Line variation. I doubt. I doubt it very much. But let's just see. And let's put a little bit more pressure. No, there's not any line variation to be had from this nib, which is fine. It's a cheap nib. It's it's quite hard it's a it's a hard short steel nib but i will tell you that it's very smooth F 
for the price point this is very nice actually very nice very good medium line and it keeps up very nicely look at that so i think this is actually not bad for the price at all um, i'm not sure exactly what i paid for it anymore but i i reckon it was well it was definitely below two dollars us so between one and two dollars us for this pen um, it's a demonstrator model it's got a decent capacity um, plunger uh, going there um, okay it's got a screw cap which is fine less than a full rotation to open it metal clip nothing too fancy about it but for the price point it's functional it works i think you will get a decent amount of writing out of this pen and um, I, again i love the fact that they are bringing fountain pens to people at a very affordable price and it, it just makes it accessible to everyone and um, you know it, it just moves us to you know beyond this point where fountain pens is something um, that is um, sort of a, a only premium and and you need a lot of money to afford it and so it, it really makes it accessible to everyone and I really love that so kudos to dollar for doing that well I, I would be very interested in hearing whether you have seen this brand before whether you've used these pens or the inks whether you've encountered them so please let me know in the uh, in the comments uh, i will appreciate your support by subscribing to the channel and um, thank you for watching i will see you next time